Today we're going to talk about our new table and chair setup that we're going to bring on our camping trips with us. The table and chairs have been provided to us by Hay Trip, so we're going to have their uh, description and website in the link below. Uh, make sure you click on that at the end of this video. But let's go ahead and dive in on how to set up the chair. After we set up the chair and give you our review, then we're going to talk about the table. We'll show you how to set that up, give you our honest opinion. So here we have the Hay Trip chair, and it comes in this really nice gray bag. It's got a, a nice zipper to it. Inside the bag, what you're going to find is a set of instructions on how to assemble your chair. The first pieces that you're going to take out is a bundle, just like this. So go ahead and put your cover to the side. Then you're going to unwrap the base, set that aside, and we're going to assemble the chair itself. So it's got this nice Velcro strap, just going to undo that. Now here's my favorite part. Once you undo the Velcro strap, the chair literally almost wants to put itself together by itself. You can see that it just simply starts to pull itself together has a really nice click. And just like that, now your base is assembled. So let's go ahead and put the uh, bag that comes with it is a storage pouch that's gonna go underneath the seat. And then this is the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the bag next. Set this down. Now what's great about this pouch is I have my keys and my wallet in the chair behind us. <coughs> you can put your sunglasses in here, sunscreen, some snacks. Uh, if you're gonna be sitting around the campfire, it has nice little handles. You just simply slide those over the base of the chair, just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on the cover of the chair. The Hay Trip logo is going to go at the top. And then on the back, you're going to see that the bottom tabs will have a little pull string. That is to help you assist sliding it over the base. Now this side is going to be a little bit of resistance. Just pull it over. your pull tab to seat it down. Now the back does not have a pull tab. That just simply slides over the top. And just like that, our chairs are now assembled. Now the chair has an adjustable foot at the bottom. So what you want to do is plant that to the ground, make sure it's level. And go ahead and have a seat. What I like about this chair is that it's a double stitched edge. It has air vents on the side. That gives a bigger guy like myself a little bit of room to sit in this comfortably because the material does stretch. What you'll notice on the back is you have some molly rings. So you could um, put your water canteen, maybe hang your sunglasses back there, or some type of carabiner. Um, if you have a blanket that has a carabiner on it and you want to attach it for that campfire at night, you have that on the side, on the back. Now, moving to the side of the chair, you have these great little pockets for cell phones or your drink. You have one on each side. And as you can see, it is super lightweight. So if you're going to bring this with you on um, camping trips or backpacking, um, it's not very heavy. Uh, a child could carry this and I feel like a child could sit in this very easily. As you can see, it's got a nice, nice height from the ground to the bottom of the chair. 
Now let's go ahead and talk about the aluminum table that I have in front of me. How I plan to use this table um, is on camping trips and hiking trips where um, I have my Bronco and I can store this in inside of my Pelican case on top of the roof. As you can see, it is aluminum constructed. It comes in a very nice bag. So the top will fold up to the left side. The base and the bag below will fold up and go on the right side. It's a two-sided bag. The front of the table actually unsnaps and rolls back. And that gives you access to the bag below. That just simply unzips. It has a nice orange base to the bottom of it. And then what I plan to do with this is when I um, am done with the evening, we're putting away the stoves, we're putting away the um, cooking gear. I plan to move this inside of my tent where I will have my cell phone charger, uh, my nightly bottle of water, I can put my shoes down inside the bag uh, to keep those dry and to keep my tent um, clean from debris. And again, if you're just using this and you don't want to put this in your tent, you could store this outside uh, and you could put some things inside of there like, you know, wet rain, rain coats. Let's say your coats get damp and you want to store those away. You could put those in there to dry out for the evening. Uh, beach towels, this would be a great setup to take to the beach or to a creek. So that is the table. And you just simply click that back down and now your base is secure. So let's just show you how to put this together. For setting up your table, you want to start with the side that has the larger side zipper. That is going to be the base. And then the right side, which has the smaller compartment, that's going to be your top. So we're going to go ahead and pull out the base first. The first thing you're going to see is the bag. Now, this bag is um, going to sit down in the middle of the table, so we're going to go ahead and put that on the side. The next item that's going to come out is the bag base. This is a hard base with a bright orange fabric, so we're going to set that aside. It's also going to come with a set of instructions on how to unfold the table to set it up and how to take it apart. So we're going to set that aside. Now, here is the aluminum base table itself. It is um, adjustable in height, so um, when you open this out, be careful not to smash your fingers. Simply pull that aside and lock it. Then set your height. Now, after you have locked all four corners of your table, the legs are now locked into place. Let's go ahead and put the bag in the middle. So this is the rear side of the bag, and this would be the front side of the bag. Now the front side of the bag has a zipper at the top. Just like that. So we're going to take the Velcro strips and these are going to go across the long bar here on the front. Now I'm going to do this loosely at first so we can adjust where center is for the bag. Then the rear straps are going to go on this bar. There we go. We have
have the bag unzipped. And now let's go ahead and put the base down in the middle. We're gonna go ahead and zip that back up. Okay. Zip our bag back up. And let's go ahead and grab the top out. When you unroll the top, it's going to have four little plastic hooks on the bottom of the top table. And those are going to snap on to the four little black corners of the table. And there you have it. The table is now assembled and it's ready to use. So let's see it with um, some items on top. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna set up my black stone on here and my um, cooking boiler just to show you how the table looks with items on top. So as you can see here, we have the Blackstone 17 inch grill on the right. We were able to put the Blackstone case that I have down below in the table. The case below the table also has the case for the table itself and um, the bag for the fire maple uh, burner that we have on the left. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing our new camping setup with the, uh, the Blackstone, the boiler, and the Hay Trip camping gear. If you'd like to purchase this for yourself, I'll leave the descriptions down in the comment sections below. Like always, please subscribe, make sure to share with your friends, and we'll see you on the next one.